Hi guys, this is Glenn again. So for today's video, I will teach you on how to create a listing in Shopify. So for to those who had to watch my video, if what is Shopify. So this will help you to broaden more your knowledge about creating a listing in Shopify. So that if you will online, if you will apply in online jobs, your knowledge will be gained and you will be able to apply as an e-commerce okay so let's start so we are here in our store and then in order to be able to create a listing just click products and then add the product let's say we are selling hello et lunch bag Okay. And then let's say the description, Hello Kitty, lunch bags made of high quality cotton. It is useful for your kids as they can store more foods let's say and then it is easy to use all right let's say that's the description of your product and then in order to add an image just click image and then let's say this is the image of your bag okay And then let's wait, okay. And then for the price, let's say the price is ten dollars. And then if you want to compare at price, let's say the previous price of this product is eleven. So basically, if the customer buy this product, they will have a one dollar discount. Okay, that's the function for the pricing. So for the inventory. No need to fill up this one, okay? And then for the quantity, let's say you have 10 stock, 10 stocks in your store, okay? That's the function of the quantity. And then for the weight, let's say 0.50, that's the weight of your products, okay? And then for the custom information, no need to fill up, fill up this one okay so for the variants let's say you want to add a style let's say yellow lunch bag let's say that's the name of your variant or let's say red red lunch box just uh, click save so that you will be able to add an image after we save all right and then let's add a image let's say this is the red lunch bag lunch french red lunch bag okay and then if you want to add a variant let's click it save first if you want to add a variant just click it add the variant and then let's say yellow lunch bag then let's select a image let's say this is the image then click done so for the price it's up to you if you if you will change the price if the price is different uh, you need to change it okay and then let's say the price is the same no need to uh, change it all right and then for the inventory or for the quantity let's say you have also 10 stocks in your store just uh, type 10 okay and then click save in order to save the file or the one that you created then let's go back 
to our star to our listing and then for the tags let's say hello et lunch bag then hello kitty and then lunch bag for kids then lunch bag uh, let's say that's the tags okay and then for the product availability you will choose on where to display your product let's say i want only to see my product in our online store okay just uh tick the box or yes check the box okay and then if you want to select the instagram and facebook just tick it but for now i will just tick the online store okay just click it that and then it, and then click save All right, so let's just see the product listing that we made. All right, and then if you're done, you could select or click view so that we could able to see our product. All right, and then as you can see, the compare price is... 11 and then the value price is 10 so if the customer buy this one they will save one dollar and then for the variant that we made this one let's say yellow lunch box okay they are the same price because i didn't change the price that's why they are the same okay that's the function of variant okay and then this is the description that I made the Hello Kitty lunch bag. It's made of high, of it's made of high quality cotton. Okay, this is the this is the steps on how to create a listing. This is manual listing, and then I will teach you second listing on how you will create. Let's say you have a application that the one who the one that who are managing your uh, store. Let's say in our store, we are using Oberlo. Oberlo, this is an application that the so Oberlo, this is the application that you could see a lot of product that you import. So they are the one who are managing your order or stock. Okay, so let's say I will import. A product in our store okay let's say this one I will just import this one this one let's say this one the umbrella let's say just import to the store and then it is loading and then edit on product on Shopify it is loading all right so this is the this is how to create a listing in Oberlo all right and then it's up to you if you will edit the title okay so for the for the sake of the video I will just I will just erase this one let's say umbrella double layer inverted wind fruit okay and then for the description I will not change it okay let's say that's the description and then as you can see you you don't need to import the picture it is automatic once you import the product in your store okay and then for the variant as well you don't need to type it uh, manually okay that's the product 
Okay. And then the only thing that you need to do here is to create a tags. Let's say umbrella. Umbrella double layer. Elegant umbrella. All right. Let's say that's the tags. So for the product availability, I will just select the online store for the sake of this video. Okay. And then after that, click save. It's still uh, saving. And then let's just view our products. All right. So that's the product that we import from our suppliers. All right. Let's say black umbrella double layer. Okay. It is auto automatic that it is automatic that will import to your store. No need to add it manually. And then for the description, this is the description of the product. Okay, so I think uh, that's it for now. If you have any question about this tutorial, just comment down below and then don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Okay, bye.